Well, good morning, hello. What a great day to be here with all of you. Today, our campaign is filing over 10,000 signatures in support of our campaign for the United States Senate. This campaign is about Arizonans. I launched this campaign to fight for our shared Arizona values. We believe that everyone deserves a shot at the American dream. My Arizona roots made me who I am today. Growing up, my family faced some tough times, and at one point, we lost our home. But this country gave me so much, and through hard work, I got my shot at the American dream. I'm running for Senate because I want to make sure that all Arizonans get their shot at the American dream, too. I'm laser focused on addressing the issues that matter to Arizona families, like providing veterans with the care they deserve, making sure that health care is affordable for every family, and ensuring every Arizonan has the opportunity to get ahead. I'm so proud today to be joined by some of the people who have shaped my life and who continue to inspire me every day. I'm especially happy to be joined today by my big brother, Paul. <laughs> Paul, you... <laughs> You may have seen him on TV. <laughs> Paul is a proud Marine and a sergeant with the Tucson Police Department. Each person who's here with us today embodies what our campaign is all about, standing up for everyday families and fighting for our Arizona values and making sure that everyone has his or her shot at the American dream. You know, Washington seems to get more chaotic and dysfunctional by the day, but as Arizonans, we know that we can still solve real problems if we just get past the partisan games and look for common ground. Together, we're going to work to get things done for Arizona and give every Arizonan a voice in the United States Senate. Thank you, and I'd be happy to take a few questions. Hey, Dennis. Well, as an Arizonan, Arizonans know this, that when I agree with the president and he has an idea that's good for Arizona, I'm going to work with him to solve that problem and get things done. But if the president suggests an idea that's not good for our state, I'm going to hold him accountable and try to stop those actions. One example of an area we would agree is taking care of veterans. And since Trump has become president, we've worked together to pass four pieces of legislation, to, well, five now, because the VA Choice Bill just passed, five pieces of legislation to help veterans get better access to care and to hold bad managers accountable when they don't take care of our veterans, as we've seen here at the Phoenix VA. But when the president suggests something that's bad for Arizona, I'll stand up to him. Like when he suggested to change tariffs and to potentially start a trade war with China. That's bad for Arizona's economy. We are heavily dependent on manufacturing and trade. So I'll take it as it comes. Stand with him with the good, and oppose them when it's wrong. What about the current uh, immigration policy from the administration that is scaring the state of getting the way from this mayor? Your thoughts on that? Question? Well, like most Arizonans, I believe that we need a comprehensive immigration plan that keeps families together, creates a path to citizenship for dreamers, and holds the bad actors accountable, like the drug runners and the gun runners and the human smugglers who traffic back and forth across our border. So we're working together in a bipartisan way right now in the House of Representatives on what's called a dis... Everything's fine? Good. <laughs> right now we're working in a bipartisan way in the House on what's called a discharge petition. That's kind of wonky, but basically what it means is moderate Republicans and Democrats are working together to gather enough signatures to force the House of Representatives to address four immigration bills that create different ideas of how to solve this immigration problem. I'm one of the proud um, sponsors of that effort, and I expect within the next several weeks we will see some movement on immigration legislation in a bipartisan way in the House of Representatives. So separating parents from their children, is that a humane policy? No. I oppose that policy when the Obama administration separated children from their parents, and I oppose that policy now. Yes. Yes. 
Well, as everyone knows, I have a good relationship with everyone I serve with and always have. It's one of the secrets to getting bipartisan work done in Congress. That was the recipe I used when I served here in the state legislature, and it's certainly the recipe we use to get stuff done for Arizonans here um, now that I'm serving in Congress. As for your other question, I'll leave that to the pundits. Well, my first priority is always standing up for Arizonans and taking care of Arizona families, veterans, seniors, and standing up for small businesses. So the record that, um, that I have in Congress reflects the values of Arizonans. And that also is reflected in our campaign, where we've seen tremendous energy and excitement from folks from all walks of life, Republicans, Democrats, independents, and everything in between. And we know that that will be the power that gets us to the United States Senate. As United States Senator, I'll continue to do what's right for Arizona, regardless of party politics. I, I've actually not run for the United States Senate before. But, but federal. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, you know, I think what's most important is what an individual person brings to the table when he or she decides to serve in public office. And for me, my public service has never been about uh, my gender or really any other characteristic. It's about being an Arizonan. And so over the 13 years I've served in public office, State House, State Senate, and now in the United States Congress, and my hope when I serve in the United States Senate is to do what's right for Arizonans, regardless of what walk of life they're from, regardless of where in the state they live, whether it's Yuma to Winslow, I want Arizonans to know that they have an Arizonan who's standing up for them in the U.S. Senate. Time for that one, more one more question. Yes. Well, in Congress, we have been working on initiatives to help support um, and actually grow renewable energy. Arizona, of course, is a prime candidate for solar energy. We get more direct sunlight in Arizona than any other part of the world except Saudi Arabia. Living here is a little bit better. Um, so in Congress, we've been actually working successfully to create incentives to support not just solar energy but other forms of clean and renewable energy. And I'd be happy to share with you at another time some of our, our track record and actually passing some of that legislation in a bipartisan way to make it easier for folks to use renewable energy in their home and for businesses to benefit from the use of renewable energy as well. Thanks so much, guys. I think we're going to go file for the Senate now. <laughs> Thanks.